A new plant to fight blight in Detroit tonight would also create renewable energy. Mayor Mike Duggan wants to see more solar farms in the neighborhoods to help power city buildings. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is digging into the obstacles and what's in it for the community. Mayor Mike Duggan is eager to get more solar projects like this one started, but first the city needs enough land and community supports. Yep, I think that's a great uh, thing to do. Michael Lepet says he and a business partner rehab homes and vacant lots in Detroit. When we told him about Mayor Duggan's vision to combat blight by creating solar farms like the one at O'Shea Park, Lepet said that vision aligns with his own. So, you know, we're just trying to build up the community. This neighbor named Stella says she remembers when this solar farm came about seven years ago and says she's never been impressed. My thing is this, what about them trees, them vacant houses, you know, y'all worry about the wrong thing. It's that various feedback city leaders say they want to hear from residents. Aaron Harris is on the city's is neighborhoods team. In the Department of Neighborhoods, we constantly are getting calls on a regular basis, complaints from residents about vacant land that is blighted, that people have dumped on constantly. And so this is a way that neighbors can get involved have solar farms in their neighborhoods and it will eliminate blight and it will help the city reduce its carbon footprint. Harris says the solar energy would power city buildings, an initiative promoted by the Biden administration. And so in order to do this, we need to have 250 acres throughout the city. At least 20 acres per farm. We weren't able to get a dollar figure, but she says additional benefits to residents could include cost savings. They will decide that they want more energy efficient windows, maybe more energy, maybe a new roof. But that will be a decision that they would have to decide on their own as a community. And if a majority of residents don't want them? So I think we're just going to have a lot of conversations with neighbors. And we, we definitely want to stress that we're not going to go anywhere that people don't want us to come. Um, so if they don't, if the majority does not want this, then we will not go those um, locations. Whether or not a neighborhood would get a park with a solar farm is yet to be determined, but the mayor is scheduled to discuss his ideas tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. In Detroit at O'Shea Solar Park, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Okay, Darren, thank you.